What's going on guys, Bob here back with some DBZ on the line. So let's get into this, we have the new events out. We'll start with the Sakura event, which of course we have the first two. And then we have the colorful Sakura, which is going to be okay. I really wish on the daily task would have gave us coupons, kind of like they do in Anime Ninja. Maybe they'll be added in a little bit later. But of course they'll just get the colorful balloons, which actually do give you some rewards. Um... Unfortunately, you're probably only going to be able to get three unless you're going to be topping up and, and or spending gold. But, uh, yeah, if you go over here, you can see the actual balloon. So the first one is going to cost one, and then it's got, like, level fours, um, some other stuff in it as well. And then the next one's going to cost two, and then so on and so forth, which a level two one actually has some pretty good ones. But uh, you do have to start at the first one, and then you work your way up to the top i think it does reset or it takes quite a few to actually get to the next one or something i'm not too sure exactly how this one's gonna work because i haven't tried it yet but uh yeah there's a the level two one we do have some level five chess theory which is actually really good uh the next one's gonna be four with level six um and then the level six with level sevens Level 8 with level 8 chess, wow. And then of course the last one is going to be the most expensive and the one you're probably going to go for if you're going to even do this event, which is going to be 200. And then you do have a chance to get uh, Medium Fury, Mega Fury, and Master Fury. Um, no chess though. Interesting. It probably, I don't know, the Fury is actually really good, but it would probably be better to yeah i'd probably be better just go for this i don't know if you're going for actual sakuras i mean you can look at it it says you would get a hundred from this one but this one you only get 200 even though you're spending 200 yeah that doesn't make any sense you can get the same if you just do two of these i don't know maybe it does go one each time and you have to go to the next one I don't know exactly how it works, but uh, let's actually go check out the rankings. So we already got somebody at 220. Highly doubt anybody's going to get to the 5,000 that you actually need, which is insane. And uh, all you get is a level 8 Z weapon. So, yeah, honestly, not really worth it. Uh, you do get 100 of those, which isn't really that good. And then, of course, if you are number 1, you get level 2, level 8, and some other stuff. Honestly... For the amount you're going to be spending, those prizes aren't that good. You can buy a level 8 for cheaper than you're going to spend on this event. Although you do get a ton of extra prizes and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's really up to you. And then, of course, if all servers get uh, 10,000, which by the looks of it, we should probably hit 10,000. If we're almost at 1,000 within the first, uh, not even the first day of this event being out, we should be able to get it. So, yeah, we'll, uh, of course, do the five fights for this, the uh, five arena fights for that, and then the one of the trials for that one. And I guess we can go do the trials one real quick, and then I'll get back into, let's just do this, this one real fast. Because I just want to see how it works. Of course, we're only going to have three, and I can't actually do all the arena fights because I don't have... Uh, the time to spare for that because I have to wait five minutes between each fight so yeah we're not gonna wait on that one all right so I have to do this one which it won't let me oh okay you gotta pull the thing all right so yeah I guess you just start from here and you keep pulling until you get to the next one and then it just keeps going and I'm guessing once you get to the top it just resets so I don't know we got five Sakuras already which is interesting Although, I don't think you can actually claim anything with them. Yeah, that kind of sucks. This event kind of sucks. Normally, you would have, like, uh... Like, you have these rewards down here, of course, which are just going to be the ones in the actual event. But there isn't an actual, like, place where you can claim the Sakuras, so... Yeah, overall, not the best event. Maybe this last event is going to be the one that's actually going to be worth it. And, uh... Maybe we'll get a character... Sorry about the cat. But, um, yeah, the events weren't the greatest. I mean, 
I was hoping to get a character or something, but so far they haven't been the best. We will have to wait till the last one to actually see if we're going to get a character. But the other events are actually pretty good. We do have the coupon, which is going to be a free spin. Let's hope we get... Uh, we got 58, which is fine. I mean, it's free coupons, so make sure you do do these because it is going to give you coupons. We are up to 2,000 as well, which is really nice. Uh, we do have this event, which is actually... It's not the best, but it is good for silver, so make sure you do grab that. We have Shenron's Gift, which is going to be topping up a certain amount over 500. We have the Group Buy, which is going to be... Uh, the first one's only going to be 100, so hopefully I'll be on to actually grab that because last time I wasn't. Really wish you would just register and it would just send it to your mail or it'd be there all day. Unfortunately, you had to be on at a certain time to grab it, which is kind of stupid. Uh, that was the last event. We have the 7-star Dragon Ball, which is going to be spending, and then you'll get a certain amount back. And of course, if you hit 5, 15, 4, and so on, you'll get some rewards back from it. We have the VIP gifts, which are never good to buy. Unless you want to waste gold, I mean, it's up to you. And then, of course, we have the top up stuff as well. So, yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, nothing too good, honestly. Um, I was hoping for something better out of the Sakura event, but yeah, we didn't get anything. I mean, we got some okay stuff, but I was hoping for maybe they were going to add in pets didn't happen uh we're still waiting on a character we still have one event so maybe we'll get a character during that one but uh i wouldn't i wouldn't bet on it because we've only had i think three two three characters because i know majin vegeta ss2 gohan um i'm thinking there's a third one but i can't think of it but yeah there hasn't been too many characters been a couple sets stuff like that but it's slowly adding in stuff so i don't know we'll see what happens but here's my setup for now we're still actually collecting material to actually level up sets and i still haven't changed out the set so uh don't worry about that we did finally get the two for that one um i still have that one on the krillin one we're still trying to get the other four pieces so yeah whenever we get enough material for it i think i have enough for two maybe a three piece i think i'm missing the it was either one of these two i can't remember but i have enough for the other two so whenever i get around to making the other two i will and then of course we only have a level 80 on this one which i really really don't want just because you can't upgrade it there's no point in having it if you can't upgrade it so at some point i am gonna have to switch these out for a level 80 that you could actually upgrade but of course the materials are just random so whenever we get the materials we have or whenever we get enough to actually get them we will let's actually go check how much we have so as you can see uh level 90 we're not even close level 80 and 70 are the one we're going to be focusing on so we do have a level 75th which we don't need we actually need either this one or this one so yeah so we have the helm we have the armor we actually have two of those we have one of the 80 uh one of the cape three of those ones two of those one of the boots oh we actually got enough so it was the belt that i was missing so we have one of those one of those so we could actually make a four piece 80 and a four piece uh 70 set so i might actually do that it's just the weapons we're missing actually we're missing one of the 80s never mind we're only missing the helm, which we're actually really close to. It's just a matter of luck if you get it or not. But uh, yeah, I think I'll make one more 70 set, which will go on Krillin. And then the 80 set will put on one of uh, probably our support, which we're going to have to get rid of pretty soon. I am still saving up silver, and if you're wondering why, and that's because of the tavern. Um, I was actually hoping to go for a character, but... Uh, we do have the 100 one coming up so i don't know 10 levels though do i really want to wait 10 levels for a character the characters in there i believe was android 17 or 16 17 16 crap i don't remember what android it was 17 i think it's android 17 because there's 16 yeah i think it's oh cancel um i think it's android 17 I don't remember the other two. I clearly 
looked it up and now I can't remember the three, but it is only three of them. It's an Assaulter, a Vanguard, and a Support. And uh, they're probably going to run about 2,000 or 2,500 considering these are 15. So yeah, I don't know if I want to go for those. I really need a Vanguard. Let's actually check out my team. I need... So we're good on that. The Assaulter, I guess we could keep Kid Gohan for now. We need a Vanguard or we need a Support. So either I'm going to switch out for this Vanguard, which uh, attacks enemy Vanguard, increases aid rate. I might actually just wait till the 100 for the Vanguard and just go for a Support, which I think Bobby just recovers HP. And then uh, we could probably just grab this one. Attack an entire enemy team, growth rate 120 contain. And continue to decrease enemies HP for three rounds. So it just decreases HP. It's really not that good. Could actually go for Boo, which attacks. That attacks enemy Vanguard, never mind. Maybe Cell? Attack enemy Assaulter, growth rate. So we could actually go for this one, which decreases Fury. So we could grab Cell, which is gonna cost less, and then wait for a level 100 Vanguard, because I think the Vanguard in 100 is actually better than this one. And then the Assaulter we could just wait on because uh, the Assaulter is a lot higher, of course, a lot better, so I might do that. I might actually just go for a level 81, grab this, because it is cheaper than going for either a heal or somebody that decreases heal. Because I don't know how good the decrease heal is going to be in this one, unless people are running with the heal. I might I could grab the heal, honestly, see how that works out for us. Because the one we have now does uh, decrease fury for... Doesn't it decrease fury? I don't know. It controls the enemy support, I believe it is. I hate how it cuts it off because I don't know what the hell it says. But yeah, that's going to be about it for this one. Hopefully you guys are still doing pretty good. I know my BP hasn't gone up too much. But we're just waiting on sets. Once we get the sets, upgrade those, finish those, we should be pretty good. And we do have enough silver. I just got to figure out which character I want to go for at this point. Uh, we're either going to get the 91 or the other one, which was 80, I believe. So we're either going to get a Vanguard or we're going to grab the extra support. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, which one I should go for. But that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you guys later.